Very conservative scenes there, uh, celebrations being kept in check, uh, not a flare in sight. <laughs> that is Melbourne going wild this morning, happy to report a big party uh, in Ligon Street as the Italy fans celebrated their victory in the Euros against Ingerland. Whoa, how good to be there. I right? tell you what, it was a tense final, it had absolutely everything in. old mate with a cigarette in his mouth, just, <laughs> just they're so cool Italians. <laughs> Smoking's not cool, Carl. I know, and today... but <laughs> Melbourne reporter Isabella Stashkovsky <laughs> is there amongst it all. Isa, I tell you what, that party's going to go all day, my friend. Ah, uh, Ali, ciao. This party is going to not stop. This is Angela. She's been here since the early hours of the morning. She's been singing in Italian for me. We've got young and old here. There are thousands of people on the street. It is absolutely insane. And what an amazing thing. Gee, she's got a lot of sons, that Italian woman there. Can you, can you have a little chat to her? <laughs> have a chat to the Italian mum there. She's, it was just beautiful. She didn't even cry. Oh, Carl and Ali want to have a chat to you. How good is the win, Angela? Beautiful world! The best! They Biggest fan, please yes, notice yes, me. Yes. Four times, four times, four times. <laughs> I notice you, I notice you. I love you, bro. I notice you. Oh, yeah, just loving it. They're not stopping. No, no, no. They're not stopping anytime soon. And what a beautiful sight to see. Just people happy and elated. I mean, the Italian community, they're just so full of life, aren't they? Um, yeah. And then for, for them to have a victory like this is just this wonderful stuff. And, and look for all those traders along there after everything that happened with COVID too, is it? I mean, that's just wonderful for them, the restaurants, the coffee shops. Yeah, exactly. If you look down here, all these cafes and restaurants have been open since midnight. They've just had their little televisions on and people have been sitting there watching from the wow. early hours of the morning. We've seen the radios there, the heaters, the generators. Look at all these Italian flags here as well. This is just... It's insane. <laughs> They, they, all, they all look so lovely, those young Italian men. They'll be chasing your daughters in no time. Aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> see, see, see. see. <laughs> right there, right there. Good luck. Just, oh, Good luck, is it? Thank you. Crazy oh, no, no, we'll let it. We'll let it be. Well, that's it. I mean, it was a delayed final, wasn't it? Euro 2020 yeah. finally played, and all those. Italian fans. Oh, that's going to go on to see for some a while. Life in the party, isn't there? Great I know. stuff. And so <laughs> different what's happening in Melbourne to say what's happening in Sydney right now. Exactly. Well, that's a real downer. <laughs> oh, that's mean, Ali. That's so mean. <laughs> you, this is why you're the mother of the nation. <laughs> Just blunt. Anyway, now these are live pictures from Liverpool and Sydney as the city braces for COVID cases to soar today. A tale of two different cities this morning. There's been wild scenes in Melbourne's Ligon Street this morning after Italy snatched victory in the Euros final. Boy, oh boy, it came down to a penalty shootout. It was all there. Today, Melbourne reporter Isabella Stavskovsky is there. She started the first flare. Isabella, what's going on, my friend? <laughs> Cosimo here with me. He's been here since 1am with his dad. How are you feeling? I love men. Good. How was the win for Italy? How do you feel about that? Amazing. Amazing? Who's your favourite player? I love peanut butter. Um, Chiesa. Chiesa, yeah. how are you guys feeling? Good? Yeah! yeah. 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 Ali, everyone is going out for breakfast, having a beautiful time. All the music is on, the dancing is on, the shirts are coming off. But we're having a good time here. The police are behind.
with them. And we'd love to have you down here with us too. I think we've got a classic Italian song playing in the background somewhere too. So we're just keeping it going. We're just keeping it alive. You know what? My name's a little bit Italian too, so I'm just going to keep it going too. <laughs> This morning, is it? Yeah. I don't know. I think the crowd's starting to die down a little. Yeah, that's very good. Just fantastic. Oh, well done, Isa. Far out. There's a lot going on. Uh, but it was a very different story in oh. Perth this morning, oh. where Pommy expats had their dreams shattered. I'm very devastated. My husband's in bed. <laughs> We thought we were going to do it, but we didn't, did we? We can't end on a no, we downer can't. like no. that, can we? Go that back was to Melbourne. Melbourne. No. Back to hey, Melbourne. One more shot of Lag on Street. Give us one more shot. Give us one more shot. Come on. Come on. Give what the people want. No. Give them there what they want. Yeah.